Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this super nice and warm cow. It's so much fun to crochet. This is um, how it looks like. I hope you can see the beautiful stitches and I really really love working with this yarn. Look at those beautiful colors. They are so perfect for fall and winter and I'm sure this cow will keep you all nice and cozy during the cold winter and fall days. It's a super easy pattern. We will be working in the round. It's just a one round repeat and the way we will be turning you won't even see um, the connection so it's really really nice like i said it's super nice and it's so much fun and now i will show you what we need and how to crochet this super easy cow today i'm using an eight millimeter crochet hook you will also need a pair of scissors a darning needle and a marker and the yarn i'm using today is the brand new kinko safari chunky i was waiting so long for this yarn and i really really love it i love working with chunky yarn in general for fall and winter projects and this is the color i chose today for my cow, I needed a whole skein, um, which is 311 yards. This is 100% a premium acrylic yarn. And they have them in eight different colors. I show you two more. I really love this one also. And one of my favorites is this one. There will be another tutorial with this um, color and yeah, I really, really love it. I will put the link for the yarn down below. Of course, you can use any yarn you would like and the recommended hook size. I would even go one or two hook sizes bigger, but this is of course totally up to you. And now let's get started. We will start with a slip knot and we will crochet chains. For my cow, I'm going to crochet 70 chains. Of course, you can adjust the size. All you have to watch out for that your chain is in a multiple of two. So like I said, for my cow, I'm going to crochet 70 chains. If you want to make it for a child, just keep crocheting your chains in a multiple of two until you have the desired size you need. So grab the yarn and pull through, grab the yarn and pull through. Like I said, for mine, I'm going to crochet 70 chains. What I'm going to do, since we have to crochet um, a larger amount of chains, it likes to twist up. So I'm going to crochet like 10 chains, for an example, and then I'm going to insert my hook into the first one. Make sure it's not going to twist. And then grab the chain and keep, oops, now it's twisted. Okay, I need it like that. And now just keep crocheting the desired length you want. Like I said, I'm going to crochet a total of 70 chains. And this way, uh, the chain is not going to twist on me. Once you're done with your chains, like I said, I have a total of 70. We will just grab the hook and pull through. And this is how we connect it into the round. Now we will chain one into the very first stitch right here. You will insert your hook and work a slip stitch. This is our first stitch. So grab your marker and mark it. Now we will yarn over, insert our hook into the next stitch. You'll work a half double crochet 
grab the yarn, pull up. You have three loops on the hook, grab the yarn and pull through all three loops. Into the next stitch, work a slip stitch, yarn over, go into the next stitch and work a half double crochet. And this is our repeat. So again, go into the next stitch, work a slip stitch, yarn over, insert your hook into the next, grab the yarn and work a half double crochet. So slip stitch and into the next stitch, a half double crochet. And since we started with a slip stitch, we will always end up with a half double crochet. It's really important in the first round that you count your stitches. When you uh, made a chain of 70, make sure you have 70 stitches at the end of this round. And just keep repeating it. So slip stitch and half double crochet. And like I said, our last stitch is always a half double crochet. I'm here at the end of my row. And like I said, my last stitch is a half double crochet. I counted my stitches and I have 70 stitches. Now I will remove the marker. We will go into the very first slip stitch, grab the yarn and work a slip stitch. Now chain one and turn your work around. Into the very first stitch right here, you will insert your hook and we will always start with a slip stitch. Now grab your marker and mark your first stitch. And again, we started with a slip stitch. Here you can see this is our half double crochet from the previous row. The half double crochets always have this loop in the front. I hope you can see it in the camera. So this is our half double crochet. This is a slip stitch. This is a half double crochet. This is a slip stitch. And this is the way we will work the next round. So here's a slip stitch. Now yarn over, go into the next stitch, which is a half double crochet and work a half double crochet. Then a slip stitch, yarn over, go into the next stitch and work a half double crochet. So here was the slip stitch from the previous row. We will work a slip stitch here you can see it's a half double, so yarn over and work a half double crochet. And we will always start with a slip stitch and end with a half double crochet. So just keep repeating it all the way around. So slip stitch and half double crochet. I just reached the end of my round and the last stitch is a half double crochet. So we will remove the marker and we will close this round into the very first slip stitch. And we will work a slip stitch, chain one and turn the work around. And now into the very first stitch again, you will insert your hook, grab the yarn, work a slip stitch, and I'm going to mark it again. So just mark your first slip stitch. And now again, so slip stitch into the next stitch, which is a half double crochet. We will work a half double crochet slip stitch, half double crochet. It is very important at the end of each round that you turn your work just like I showed you. 
And now again, do exactly the same like in the previous row. Like I showed you, the one with the loop in front is always a half double crochet. The next one is a slip stitch and again a half double crochet. So just keep repeating this until you reach the end of this round and your last stitch will always be a half double crochet. So just keep repeating this all the way around. I'm here at the end of my round and we will finish with a half double crochet. Now again, we will remove the marker, insert the hook into the slip stitch, grab the yarn and work a slip stitch. Now again, chain one and turn. And into the very first stitch, right here we will always start with a slip stitch we will mark the first stitch and now just keep repeating the same round so yarn over like i said the first one is a slip stitch the next is a half double crochet then again, a slip stitch, yarn over, and a half double crochet. And here you can see it again. This is our half double crochet. This is a slip stitch. So into the slip stitch, we work a slip stitch. And into the half double crochet, we work a half double crochet. You will finish this round again with a half double crochet. And this is the repeat. So I will keep crocheting until I run out of yarn and I will show you in just a little bit how my cow looks like. So just keep repeating this round over and over again until you reach the desired height you want for your cow. So I repeated this round over and over again, and this is how my cow looks like. I measured it, it has 12.5 inches wide and 12.5 inches long. And it's so, so soft. And I hope you can see the beautiful color changes. I'm really impressed with this yarn. And I hope you can see the stitches right here. It's really, super super cozy and i love the way it turned out so um once you run out of yarn this is how much i have left um i'm going to finish off and it's also super easy just like we did before we crocheted a half double crochet here's our stitch the one we marked so remove the marker go into the first slip stitch, grab the yarn, pull through, make a slip stitch. Now chain one, pull tight, leave a little bit of a longer yarn tail because we need to sew it in, cut the yarn, grab your hook and pull it all the way through, just like this. Now pull nice and tight and this secures our project and it's not going to open up. So the only thing left is now to sew in the yarn ends. To sew in your yarn end, you will grab your darning needle, pull the yarn through. And this is the outside and this is the the inside. So what I'm going to do is just sew in the yarn end here in the inside. So like you can see I'm going through some stitches, grab the yarn, pull nice and tight. Don't pull too tight and now I'll go in the opposite direction through some stitches 
just like that. Pull through. And again in the opposite direction. And I do it one more time until I have the feeling that the yarn end is all nice and sewn in just like this. And now we can cut the yarn. And you will do exactly the same thing with your other yarn end and we are done. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I can't wait to see your finished cows. You can find me on Instagram if you would like to show me a picture. I always love it. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have a great time crocheting and I hope to see you back soon. Bye.